What's up, cupcakes? It is me, Tyler Morgan Banks, once again. And I know I've been gone for a while, but you know, guys, I do this when I can because honestly, I love it so much. So it's springtime now, summer's not far behind. And yeah, I want to go ahead and do a look. So this is the first uh, makeup look I've come up with for this spring and there'll be many more but i was thinking about trying my hand at the cut crease because it's not one that i do often because i will be very honest i like my makeup to look you know just kind of natural i like colors but i like for them to blend really really pretty and then you know a lot of times i just think if i can't wear it anywhere then i really won't do it like it's a difference between having art makeup where you look at like oh my gosh that's pretty and makeup that you can actually put on and wear wherever you want to however um cut creases can look like that too i just feel like some of it is just a bit too much this my opinion but i really like the whole detail of it so today i got a cut crease for you with some really pretty spring colors and i'm just gonna walk you through everything that i did y'all like my setup back there <laughs> you girl changed her setup just a little bit i can never figure out like what i really want in my backdrop so i figure i put you know some lights back there you can't see my cupcake but i got a giant cupcake <laughs> So anyway, I started with my eyebrows and you've all seen my eyebrow routine before, but I might change it up just a little bit. And so I went ahead and put my concealer all over my eyelid so it can give my uh, makeup something to stick to. And I don't care what, well, my eyeshadow, um, something to, you know, actually grab to. I don't care what anyone says, I love a white base because if you go back to like painters basics, what works better for your colors to show up than a white base so um i'm on top of that my concealer i put my nyx pencil and milk it's an oldie but goodie and sometimes you can put powder on top of that you know just so it'll glide better and won't stick i mean that's i guess it's considered old school now but i don't really know <laughs> And so right now I'm just taking that LA Girl Pro Concealer and cutting my crease. Now what I'm doing is looking up because one thing about the crease, you want to see it while your eyes are open. Like you actually want to see the look. So you're recreating your crease. So you see where that left a mark when I actually lifted my eyes up It left where my crease would be if my eyes were open. Does that make sense? So this is where I would actually carve out my lid for um, my other primary eyeshadow that I want to stand out. I would put it there. So that's why I actually, that's a really neat trick that I learned. So um, when you're doing your concealer, just kind of put a little bit on and then blink up and wherever you see that excess, that's where you want to carve out. And I'm just continuing to kind of pat that and uh make my outline correct no i mean you don't have to be completely perfect with it but you want to get it you know to you know, you know, you know perfect as possible and all of my brushes will be listed below this right here is juvia's place i really like those brushes they were really good so I can't remember which line it is. I mean, they've probably come out with more since I got them, but you know. So I'm just taking that darker color with my Morphe palette. Of course, you already know everything will be listed below. Everything that I use, every color that I use. The good thing about this palette though is that it came with names for the colors. So um, if you end up getting that palette, which it'll be listed what type of palette it is, I'll show you the actual colors that I use by the name. And guys, make sure you check out my music channel, Tyler Morgan Bay's Music. Um, it's been so much going on over there. Well, as much as I can post. Like, you all have no idea how much content I have just sitting there. I try to get to it as fast as possible. So, this, what you saw me dangling like a little baggie or something. I don't know about what it is. But, anyway, <laughs> that's from a company called Mayo Makeup. 
and I was actually trying my hand at mineral makeup simply because I just wanted to you know see if it worked better if their colors popped a little bit more um, you know mineral makeup is supposed to be uh, natural with less harsh chemicals in it and things like that so um, one thing I did hear about mineral makeup is that it kind of stains your lid a little bit or it gets in your pores so I'm doing more research about that but I got that color from Maya makeup and I'll tr leave the link below um, and I just got the little baggies for samples because before I committed to buying the whole thing and I like to research makeup that I, I don't necessarily see all the time and what's funny about that is when I research stuff it's like two and I go ahead and get it two or three weeks later I will see it in the store under another name and I've gotten it for cheaper so don't discredit you know getting things from Amazon or eBay or you know even across the country because eventually it might be over here and you might have had the scoop first so make sure you you know remember that and so if you can't see that eyeliner is actually like a navy blue I just thought blue would go pretty with that and that's from elf And now I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't know what that is. However, now look at these two foundations, right? One is lighter, one is darker. I only did that because the dark one, both of them are matte. One is LA Girl Pro Foundation and the other is by Beauty Bakery. Now, Beauty Bakery has a uh, chart to go by as far as what your foundation shade is. So in Fenty Beauty, I compared it to that one. I'm a 440 in Fenty Beauty. And so when I got the one that was comparable and actually wore it, the foundation itself is really good. Like it covered everything, it was full coverage. I had no marks, no uh, color, um, colors that were, you know, standing out um, up under my foundation. You know, not a whole lot of texture, it dried really really quick so definitely be careful with that but it actually got way too dark for me so i had to lighten it up a little bit with um that la girl foundation which i don't really like that foundation because it's very it's i don't know it's kind of heavy and in my opinion it's very oily and um it just kind of sticks to your face like lays on top of it like you can scrape it off <laughs> instead of actually blending with your with your face if that makes sense it actually kind of you know what do i want to say i don't know smoothing your face out and just kind of giving you that nice smooth um airbrush type look it looked like girl you can literally wipe your makeup off so i don't know um but anyway mixed with that matte it was actually pretty good um so right here i'm just contouring drinking my water because that's a lot of work and so um i want to start making my contour a little bit harsher because i don't really like a whole lot of contour and highlighting um i like highlighting but not a whole lot of contour so i just kind of took it light with it and a little easy um because personally i think makeup should be seamless and still kind of be natural and wearable um even if you want to define your face a little bit but so i didn't go too heavy with it um and as you can see i'm using my own makeup again it's like this really pretty blue that they have that kind of has a uh, glitter um glitters glitter speckles in it and i just put that at the bottom of my lash line so that i could brighten up this makeup look a little bit I was debating whether or not I wanted to put something in the inner corner, but I decided not to because I didn't want to take away from the orange. And my lashes are from Sassy Jones Boutique. Um, those are called Cara, and I really like those lashes. They're mink lashes, and I think I need a new lash update video. So, mm -hmm. now you all know those pencil. That pencil is from a uh, ColourPop, one of my favorites. Um, I know it's a purple right now. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Both of those are color pop, and I just felt like that pink would go really pretty with the nude on top. Um, that pink color is matte, and then I think the nude that I use is a gloss. So it'll all be listed for you.
you guys i think i'm liking this look i personally like my ponytail with my kitty ears like because i just think it's so girly and it's so cute i just really like it so mainly before i put on my highlight i always try to set it just a little bit first and you know kind of wet it up that way it will um stick more and it'll it'll highlight more and so i'm just taking a very small highlight brush and just kind of getting those areas that i want to highlight the most and i actually got that highlighter from a youtuber her name is passion jones and it was the prettiest pink i had seen in a you know a long time it was a very pretty pink and it kind of it's kind of like a dust so it's not pressed it's loose and you have to be really careful with it but i really liked it and that's it guys for my look my first spring look and uh, cut crease that I've done in a while so I really hope you enjoy I hope that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload from me of course you know that I love you and please come back again thank you for stopping by the Tyler house leave your comments bye you guys kisses <laughs>